The leader of Hezbollah promised to send another one to five million refugees to Europe. Hezbollah leader Nasrallah promised that if the West does not lift the sanctions imposed on Syria, another one to five million Syrian refugees who are currently in Lebanon will go to the European Union. If another one to five million refugees from the Middle East are sent to EU countries, Europe will inevitably face a massive migration crisis already worsened by the armed conflict in Ukraine. Nasrallah considered that the solution to the Syrian refugee crisis involves lifting the international sanctions that weigh on Damascus, which would allow the impoverished and war-torn nation to recover from its situation in a matter of years. Although after 13 years of war, the battlefronts are practically frozen in Syria, many non-governmental organizations and members of the international community consider that the return of refugees is not safe, due in part to the reprisals that the Damascus regime may exercise against those who left the country. Many countries and blocs, including the EU, do not maintain relations with the government of Syria. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, as a prominent ally of Hezbollah, which the United States and Brussels classify as a terrorist movement. In the same speech, Hassan Nasrallah raised the possibility of the Israeli population returning to the northern cities of their country along the border with Lebanon if Tel Aviv's military offensive in the Gaza Strip against the Palestinian group Hamas, its ally, ceases. Tell Israeli government to stop the aggression against Gaza if you want to return to the north, said Nasrallah, referring to the almost daily exchange of fire between Israel and Hezbollah on the border with Lebanon since the beginning of the war in the Palestinian territory on October the 7th. The Hezbollah leader stated that the Americans informed Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that there is no solution in the north without a ceasefire in Gaza. At a strategic level, he believes that Israel is at a dead end, in which it must decide whether to accept a ceasefire and thus recognize its defeat, or continue with the offensive and follow into the abyss. Nasrallah also emphasized that the start of a war against Iran would mean that the entire Middle Eastern region would be drawn into an armed conflict. Earlier, Nasrallah called the Israeli attack on the Iranian consulate building in Damascus a direct attack on Iran and its sovereignty. German lawmakers want to shoot down Russian missiles over Ukraine. German lawmakers from both the ruling coalition and the opposition support the idea of NATO imposing a no-fly zone over western Ukraine amid the conflict with Russia, Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung has reported. For its article, the paper asked members of parliament about the proposal, earlier floated by the defense minister's chief of staff, Nico Lang, who suggested that Russian missiles and drones targeting Ukrainian energy infrastructure and military installations could be shot down from the territory of neighboring Poland and Romania. According to Lang, this would lead to the creation of a 70-kilometer-wide safe zone on the border between the EU and Ukraine, while also allowing Kiev to redeploy its own air defense systems, which are in short supply, from the west of the country to the front line. Defending the airspace over Ukraine from Poland and Romania should not be ruled out in the long term. Anton Hofrita, a member of Parliament for the Green Party, which is part of the German coalition, told Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung. However, such a move is not up for debate at the moment, as the current priority for the West is to supply Ukraine with significantly more arms and ammunition, he stressed. Markus Faber from the Free Democratic Party, also in the ruling coalition, agreed that the airspace over the Ukrainian border regions could be protected by air defenses on NATO territory. According to Faber, this would only be possible if the West can secure enough ammunition for the air defense systems. A lawmaker for the opposition Christian Democratic Union, Roderich Kaiswetter, also said Kiev's Western backers could shoot down Russian drones over Western Ukraine. This would relieve the Ukrainian air defense and enable it to protect the front, he explained. Kaiswetter recalled how the U.S., U.K. and France assisted Israel with countering a large-scale bombardment by Iran in April, saying it showed that countries can provide such help to their allies without actually becoming a party to the conflict.
Kurs.